generous, brave, courageous, disruptive, innovative. I would absolutely describe Keith as a pioneer of digital art. I'm Gil Vasquez, the President and Executive Director of the Keith Haring Foundation. There are many aspects of Keith that may not be as widely known. Steve Jobs, uh, I believe, came to a gathering at Yoko and John's residence. Uh, present were Andy Warhol, Kenny Scharf, Keith Haring, and Steve was basically showing off a very early version of the Mac. These artists were just excited, uh, excited about what the possibilities were. A uh, good friend of Keith's, Timothy Leary, the famous Timothy Leary, got a hold of 10 Amiga computers. And it was his idea to distribute them to various artists. Andy was one of them, Keith was one of them. Keith was interested in the computer as a tool, knew it would be important. And Keith got the computer here in this space and experimented and created these drawings. The images are very much in his language, uh, just on a computer. Considering my role as an artist in this context, should I align myself with the computer or with the entirety of human history? The way that I interpret that question is that Keith is aware that it's one in the same. History now includes the computer and he's aligning himself with both. These Amiga works, in a sense, are something that probably would not have seen the light of day had it not been for Web3. And we would not take it upon ourselves to create an NFT out of a work that was not natively digital. Keith uh, was a disruptor, and anything of the traditional way of making art, he rebelled against. Web3 is something that I think he would be particularly interested in because it's a medium that only recently the established art world started to take note of. Artists for everybody was the mantra that he lived by. Artists are ahead of the rest of us by years. And that was true with Keith, and I think that is true of Web3 artists. We can look at that screen and learn about Keith Haring. Through art, we become immortal. So in a sense, Keith is still here, still affecting people, still inspiring people, uh, still causing a stir.